Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun and today I am back to do a cash stuffing for our first paycheck of April. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Becca and thank you for clicking on this video. My family of five and I live in South Florida where we utilize the cash envelope budgeting system to get out of debt more quickly and be more intentional with our money and give every dollar a job. So let's go ahead and count our money and see how much we're gonna be working with today. This is my bank envelope that I take to the bank with me when I pull out the cash. Now all of the bills have been paid with this paycheck. So the money that I am gonna be stuffing today is after bills and it is money specifically set aside for expenses, sinking funds, and savings challenges. So today, let me show you my teller slips. So this is what I take to the bank with me when I pull out the money so I can get the denominations that I need for my cash envelopes. So we are pulling out $1,060 today. So let's count and make sure that's what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one thousand, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty. So that is correct. One thousand and sixty dollars is what we're going to be working with today. How is everybody doing? It is warming up. It has been super hot lately down here in South Florida, um, even hotter than normal. Um, today it was close to 90, but thankfully we are getting um, some much needed rain here in the Florida Peninsula. So very, very thankful for that. Our grass is dying. Um, we were having to water the plants very frequently because we do have a food forest. So. That was a lot of extra time. Um, so thankfully we are getting some rain. I hope you guys are having wonderful weather where you are and staying happy and healthy. So I wanna say a quick thank you to everybody who entered my um, a 2K subscriber giveaway. Um, I did pick a winner. There was a little bit of an issue though with the giveaway. It's the first time that I've had that issue. I just wanted to um, say something about it really quick. I had somebody um, posing as the winner, pretending to be the winner on YouTube and also emailing me pretending to be the winner. They took the winner's name. They even took the winner's profile picture. Um, thankfully I caught it. So for my next giveaway, which will be at 3K subscribers, um, I've already thought of some kind of safeguards and ways that I can um, make it so that doesn't happen again, or I can you know, confirm that that is indeed the person who has actually won and not someone posing as the winner. So I did wanna throw that out there because I know that those things do happen and unfortunately they did happen with my last giveaway. So let's go ahead and move on to my first binder. So this is my high priority binder. And this gorgeous binder is from Chicky Treasures over on Etsy. And as always, I will have her linked in the description. She does just gorgeous, gorgeous work. And I'm so happy with everything that I get from her. So this is a high priority binder. So, oops, turned it the wrong way. So we're gonna be starting with groceries. So we do stuff for two weeks at a time. And currently our grocery budget is 220 a week. So we're gonna be stuffing all of these 100s plus 220s into groceries, so that is $440. One, two, three, four, 420, and $440 into groceries. And I am gonna be working on a grocery order after I finish um, my filming today, because we do do grocery pickups, so I'm gonna be working on that later. Um, I'm actually gonna put some money into spending today. I usually skip this category. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is take out another envelope that I have in my white binder over here, which is entertainment or fun because I literally never stuff anything into that envelope anymore. And just take out um, fun or entertainment and um, put it all into spending because this is kind of like a miscellaneous category. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So kids, it's gonna be getting $10 today. Let me see if I have a five in here because I do actually need to take out $5. I do, so I'm going to take out this $5 because one of my kids just lost a tooth and I usually give them $5 when they lose a tooth. So I'm gonna put that to the side for my kid and I'm gonna stick this 10 back in. Now I am also gonna take these $1 out and these are gonna go towards my $1 savings challenge in my next video. So kids is at uh, 20, 30 and $40 currently. Okay, and 
we're gonna be adding $20 to pets. I have two dogs and we also have some um, urban chickens. So this goes towards things that our animals need. And for vet visits, I am gonna be making an appointment for my dog tomorrow. And this is for her annual checkup at the vet. So she'll be seeing the doctor and she'll be getting some shots and we have to um, buy heartworm as well. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, and $280 in vet visits. So that should be plenty to cover um, her upcoming visit. Household, we're gonna be adding $40 to this. This is for any of our household needs. And, okay, so my husband actually just bought um, another blueberry bush. And we, I think we had two or three before. They're still small, they're not producing. But he just bought one from a local person and there were already some blueberries on it. It's a much bigger bush. And so we've been enjoying picking off the blueberries and eating them because um, everybody in our family just loves the blueberries. So I am gonna be having to take some of this money out for the blueberry bush. I'll have to confirm with my husband how much that cost. Um, but for today, for Food Forest, we're just gonna be adding $10. And I'm not gonna count it because this is, uh, I'm gonna be pulling from this um, later today probably anyway for that bush. Okay, so health, we're gonna be adding $40 to health today. So I think I have decided to um, not go forward with like the chiropractor that I'm currently using. I'm having, like he's really nice and it's been okay so far, but um, He's not really like what I would call a functional chiropractor. He basically, it's just like, it's like in and out there. It's like crack your upper back, crack your lower back, crack your neck, and that's it. Like he doesn't do anything else. I was asking him to check my knee the other day and he didn't do it. And he hasn't been able to crack my neck in, I don't know, several months, I think. I feel like he's never able to crack my neck. And so I'm not getting relief from that. So I feel like I'm just gonna go with someone else at this point. So medical, we're gonna add $10. Now I am gonna be pulling from this because um, I was talking about all that dental work that I needed done. I've got half of it done. So last week I went and did my fillings for my left side. And today is a Sunday when I'm filming and I'm actually going tomorrow to do the right side fillings. So I did have to pay a deductible of $50. So that's gonna come out of this. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull um, that $50 for the deductible. And actually I did end up having to pay more um, when I was about to go to the dentist last week for my first fillings. Um, I was flossing and I have a permanent retainer on my bottom teeth. So I was flossing like under that retainer and it popped off. Um, and if you have a permanent retainer, or if you've ever had braces, um, sometimes certain teeth, like as soon as the uh, permanent retainer or the retainer in general is taken off the teeth, they will start to move. So that is the case with um, uh, my teeth. So as soon as that permanent retainer popped off, I knew those teeth were gonna start to move within a few hours and so thankfully I was going to the dentist and I asked him if he could um, put it back on and thankfully he said yes. Um, so my teeth didn't end up moving because it was like within an hour. Um, but I did have to obviously pay for that and he charged me $90 for that which was actually cheaper than what the orthodontist was gonna charge me. So long story short, I'll be pulling this. This is not 90 but I'll pull the rest from somewhere else. So I actually did forget about that. So I'm gonna be pulling all of this some for the um, deductible and then partially for um, the retainer that he had to put back on. All right, so um, long-term medical is empty right now but we'll work on filling that back up. Um, in our next cash stuffing. So for beauty, we're gonna add $5 to beauty. This one is often neglected as well, but I was like, let's just add a little bit to it and maybe it'll build up. So we are all done with this binder. All right, so let's move on to my second high priority binder. And this really pretty binder is from Princess Budgets and she is here on YouTube. So for homeschooling, we're not gonna be adding anything to this. Um, we are gonna be going on a field trip this month and we should have plenty of money in homeschool for that. So I'm not gonna count it. 
Um, for co-op, we are gonna be adding $50. So we do attend a homeschool co-op, my kids and I. And um, this is for any uh, extra things like field trips, get togethers, things like that. And we do have a get together coming up. So we have $50, $75 in co-op and that is plenty to cover that get together coming up soon. Homeschool curriculum, we are all good for next year. So I did empty this envelope, bought the last of the curriculum that I needed and we're not gonna be stuffing it for a little while just so I can take a little bit of a breather from that. Car maintenance is gonna get its usual $50 and um, my headlights on my car just went out like both of them at the same time. So I think there's some kind of like electrical or wiring issue with the car. So we will be having to take that soon. But car maintenance currently is at 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470 and $480 in car maintenance. So that is building up nicely. Um, my life insurance, we're going to be adding just $5 to this today. So we're at $10 and $20 in life insurance. So we pay this every six months. Okay, so our next envelope is lot tax. This is property taxes on a second lot that we own. And we're going to be adding $30 to this one today. So this one is currently at 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, and $300. That is building up nicely. And gifts, we're gonna be adding a $20 bill to gifts. So gifts is at $120 currently. And there are a couple gifts that I do need to get still from um, the past couple months. We're a little bit late on the couple birthday gifts. Um, this tracker I am not filling out currently, but it is for our yearly subscriptions and I do keep that money in the bank. And I added $40 to our yearly subscriptions. So let's move on to our debt check-in very quickly. I like to do this in my cash stuffing videos so you guys can see um, the progress that we are making um, on our debts. So I got my orange marker. So I do have, we do have two debts left and we are on track to pay our smallest debt off this year in 2022, the starting balance. Um, when we actually started budgeting was 10,000. The original balance when we got this several years ago was $25,000, but I did not start budgeting until the end of 2021. So that's when I made these cards. So we made a ton of progress last year. We have this left for this year. And then our second debt is our really big one, our HELOC, and it is at 36,000. And I do have three debt cards um, for that one. So we will like really hit this one hard after this one is paid off. So we did make one payment on our HELOC with this paycheck. So let's go ahead and color in one honeycomb for our HELOC to show that we made one payment on that. And that is all for our debt check-in. Okay, so let's move on to this binder. This is my low priority binder. And this is the envelope that I was talking about earlier that I think I'm just gonna take out. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Um, I never stuff it. And I feel like um, just having that spending envelope, since it is kind of miscellaneous as well, um, I can just stuff like entertainment or fun money into that. And I really don't need this one. So this one is gonna go away. All right, so we're gonna move on to travel or vacation. We are gonna be adding $50 to this. We are saving up to go visit my family who is in another state. So we do have $500 in the bank in a high yield savings account. That's what this placeholder represents. So we have 500, 550 and $560 currently in vacation. And I am not um, filling out my trackers right now. You and me, this is for my husband and I. We are saving up for our 15th anniversary later this year. So we're gonna be adding $50 to you and me. So currently you and me has one, two, three, four, 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 585. So we're talking about either going away for the weekend or doing a staycation. Um, for our 15th anniversary, we would like to do something. Um, a lot of times we don't really do much for our anniversaries. We just go out to eat. 
Um, but for the 15th, we would like to do a little something more. So hopefully we'll be able to save up enough money to do something fun together. So Thanksgiving, we're gonna be adding $5 to Thanksgiving. We are slowly saving up for that. We usually host it at our house. So we need a little bit of extra funds for Thanksgiving. So currently it is at 20, 30, and $35 in Thanksgiving. It's like a slow burn on Thanksgiving. Um, we save a little, little bit all throughout the year and then I'll start saving more um, as it gets into the late summer and the fall. I'll stick like $10 in there, $20, you know, to get up to our goal, which our goal is usually like between three and $400 is usually what we end up needing um, when we host Thanksgiving. So let's move on to special events. So this is for birthday parties and get togethers. And I did end up emptying this one out and I don't think we stuffed it in the last video, but we're gonna be adding $10 to special events and start building this back up for the next special event that we need to put some money towards. All right, so I usually stop here. However, I am gonna go, let's see. This is my back to the bank envelope. So I do wanna go ahead and add this money that I pulled out of our medical envelope. I'm going to add this to our back to the bank envelope. So how we usually do it is I put a lot of stuff on our credit card and then I just pull the cash out of my envelopes and pay the card off so we're not carrying a balance on the card. Um, we weren't doing that when we first started budgeting. We were doing it a different way and um, it was getting to be too hard for me. I, was, I felt like I was running back and forth to the bank um, almost daily like with the cash stuff um because some because we do do a lot of like online shopping and stuff and so it actually worked out to be better and easier to just put things on the card pull the cash from here and then pay off the card at the end of the month so like i said we're not carrying a balance that system has been working pretty well for us um, i did talk about last month we did a little bit of overspending so i was pulling a little bit of extra cash from some of my envelopes so if you do work the cash envelope system that way you do have to be more careful not to overspend. Um, it's very easy to do. All right, so let's close this one up. This one is all done. So let me grab those $2 that I pulled out earlier for my $1 savings challenge. And I'm gonna put those with this money over here. And all of this money is gonna go into my savings challenges. So let's go ahead and count and see how much is going into savings challenges in my next video. So we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, $202. So $202 going into our savings challenges. And I'm really excited to film that video because that is my favorite kind of video to film. So I'm gonna set this money aside and you will see it again in my next video. So that is all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, leave me some love in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with me. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for over 2000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.